Hi, Thomas Smedley here with Tease Doghouse. Hey, and at Tease Doghouse, we're very dedicated to helping people learn the communication and leadership skills necessary to ensure a long, healthy, happy life with their dog. For this purpose, we've, we've created this online Puppy Basics course. Traditionally, we've offered this information through board and train, where the dogs have been sent to us to stay with us for a period of time and be trained. Then we spend time with the owners learning to handle and communicate with the dog. Also, we've done small group classes, which have been very successful um, in helping people understand these communication and leadership skills and how to apply them with their dog. We've also done one-on-one -on -one, um, teaching as well. What we found is that though these three um, ways of getting this information out there have been very successful, there are limiting factors geographically and financially that prevent a lot of people from being able to take advantage of them. So for this purpose, we've created the online Puppy Basics course. This course is designed for puppies that are six months and younger. There will be very soon another course released that is the Adult Basics course, which will be designed, which is designed for those dogs that are six months and older. Just, just so that we can show some of the, the different ways that we approach adult dogs versus puppies and some of the different challenges that an adult dog might have over a puppy. So let's talk a little bit more about leadership and communication. I think it's important for you to understand what I mean by leadership and communication. There's so much information out there in the dog world, you know, especially online about, about dog training and everybody uses these different words, but I think everybody has a little bit different meaning behind the word. So sometimes there can be a disconnect between what I mean by leadership and communication and what you think leadership and communication means. So I want to take just a minute to help you understand what my view of leadership and communication is. To do that, I just want to share a little example with you. You know, I'm a, I'm a dog trainer. I also was a horse trainer for 23 years. I made my living training and showing reining horses. So my whole life's been, been filled with communicating with animals. So what if somebody was to take me and put me in a very large corporation? as the CEO. Just with the knowledge I have now, how long do you think it would take before I started to feel some pretty high levels of anxiety? And then how long would I have to feel those levels of anxiety before I started to get defensive, defensive towards those people that I thought were maybe stepping in on, on me and not allowing me to, to figure out how to do things. And I might even lash out a little bit, right? I might be a little bit angry or mean um, wouldn't be the best situation for me simply because I'm not prepared for that that's not what I've spent my life learning so if we look at that and now we compare the dog you know all dogs come into this world programmed to be dogs but born into human worlds right a world run by humans so as they come into this world they're looking for a leader that's just natural. That's what they do. Every dog, they're, when they're puppies, they're looking for leaders everywhere they can. But when they don't find the leadership that they need, then naturally they start to take on that role themselves. And they start trying to be the leader. And they start using dog ways to lead. Ways that would be very acceptable in the dog world and understood by dogs. However, for humans, we consider it bad behavior. So... If you can imagine that, I think that that might give you a little bit more clear understanding of how our dogs might feel and why it's so important that they have a good leader. Or you might even say a mentor. Somebody to teach them how to function in a human world. Somebody to teach them how to be able to have their needs met and their dreams come true in the human world that they've been born into. So that's our view of leadership and why it's so important, why it's vital. Now, hopefully through that story and my example there, you started to see my view of it. It's so far from dictatorship. You know, we're not trying to, to create dictators out there that are dealing with their dogs as subordinates or as um, slaves. You know, that's, that's not it at all. We want to create a relationship with our dogs so our dogs look to us to have their needs met 
and their dreams come true. They look to us because they know we can help those things happen. We as leaders want to show them that obedience is the exact way that their needs are met and their dreams come true. That will build an, a great relationship where the dogs are looking to us and they're happy and they're confident and they're obedient because why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be obedient if you knew that those were the actions that were going to make your dreams come true? So we're very reward driven. You know, people like to talk about positive reinforcement. You know, the, the, the focus is very much on the positive reward side of things and I think that that's great. And that's what our entire program is built around is reward driven training. Um, so that's leadership. That's our view on, on how we approach that. So let's talk a second about communication. Because to be a good leader, you have to be able to communicate. We have to be able to explain things to a dog. And we have to be able to understand what the dog's trying to tell us. We have to have that way to communicate back and forth. So that's what this class is built on, is we're going to develop three lines of communication um, that will allow us to communicate to the dog our desires and the dog to communicate to us so we can all be on the same page. All right, so we look forward to having you in this course and to help you understand what it takes to be a good leader in a dog's mind and how to help their needs be met and their dreams come true. All right, so let's take a minute to talk about what you're going to receive when you sign up for this online Puppy Basics course. This course is going to include at least 20 videos. I say at least because we don't know for sure. <laughs> but we know it's going to take at least 20 videos to get the information that we want to to you. Those of you who are signing up at the launching of this program, you're going to be receiving these videos in real time as we take puppies that we have now and as we begin the training process with them and, and take them through, the basic, through our basic puppy course. You're going to get to watch that. You're going to get to watch and, and ask questions about that as we go along. So that's why we're not sure how many videos there's going to be because we're sure that it's going to take at least 20 to get our information to you. However, depending on the questions that are being asked, um, it might require more videos to make sure that we clearly communicate to you so that you can have good success with your dogs. So we're, we're real excited about this format that we're going to use. Uh, it's going to be really fun to be doing this in, in real time and getting the feedback from you guys on these videos. And I think it's going to be very beneficial because we'll be able to tweak the upcoming videos to meet the needs of those who are watching as we start to get a feel for for the questions that are going to be asked and, and the places that, that we might need to do a little bit more clarification. So our number one goal is at the end of this that you guys leave with puppies that understand the basics very well and that you have a strong ability to communicate with and to lead into the guide so that you can create the relationship that you've always dreamed of. When your puppy's done with this course, when you've watched these 20 plus videos, interacted, learned from other people's questions as well as asked your own questions, maybe participated in some, some live, feed live feed videos, then you're going to leave with a good, strong understanding of what it means to be a leader to a dog, a good leader to a dog, how to communicate with your dog. You and your dog will have a great line of communication where the dog looks to you and knows what it is that you're telling it and where you can read your dog as well. Your dog's going to know what sit means. It's going to be able to sit from three different lines of communication. It's going to be, know what lie down means. It's going to know what up means to get up onto something or get up into something. Um, and also what off means to get down off of something. Your dog's going to come when you ask it to come. It, you're going to have a good recall with your dog. Your dog's also going to understand and respect personal space, human space. So vital in having good behavior so we don't have the jumping and those kind of things that can be a problem. Um, so those are the things that we're going to be teaching your dog or that you're going to teach your dog as we teach you how to be a leader and how to communicate. It's very different than a lot of the things that you're going to find online because there's so much information out there to help you know how to teach your dog to sit and teach your dog to lie down 
and teach your dog to heal and teach your dog to do all these different tricks. I mean, lie down, roll over, play dead, you know, shake. Yeah, I mean, we have dogs all the time that come in for help that do a lot of tricks, but there is no true leadership. You know, there's no clear lines of communication. There's just tricks if you got a treat. So that's not what you're going to get. What you're going to have in the end is, is a great relationship with your dog where it knows all these commands, but it also does them in a working relationship so that both your needs, your, your needs and your dog's needs, and both of your dreams are coming true. Let's talk about the other question that you have, which is how much does it cost? Like we talked about a little bit earlier in this video, um, the traditional way would be through a, a group class. That would be the least expensive way. Our small group classes start at $350 for a six-week course. So that gives you an idea where it starts, and it just goes up from there. If the dog was to come in for a board and train for a month, then we're, we're talking thousands of dollars. So um, the information we're giving you normally would cost a lot of money to get. But we want to launch this course um, and give you the introductory opportunity to do it for $35. So we feel like that's a great value. Our goal is that when you've gone through this course with your dog, you think it's the best $35 you ever spent in your life. The thing we're really excited about is that the platform that we're doing this on is a private Facebook group. So what that's going to allow us to do is to post videos as we go along with the puppies that we're going to be using as demo puppies. They're eight weeks old right now, and, and so you'll see the, them progress over the next couple months' time. Um, so that's going to be really fun to be able to be posting those and to hear your guys' comments and, and receive your guys' questions on that Facebook platform um, so we can have a little bit of interaction there. We also uh, plan to do some question and answer videos along the way that will be very helpful, especially as we start to see people's comments and, and where there might be questions or confusion. Um, and Anyway, so we're really excited about the way that that's going to work out. So to get signed up, what we need to have you do is go to my PayPal, which is Talmadge Smedley, I'll spell that for you, T-A-L-M-A-G-E-S-M E D L E Y at gmail.com. Go to that on PayPal. You'll pay your $35. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll pay your $35 and then go into the notes and make sure that you've included exactly how your profile is on Facebook. So your name just as it appears on Facebook. And then give us some kind of other information, a description of your profile picture, um, any of your public information there where you live maybe might be on there, any of those kind of things that will help us just in case there's more people than just you with your name so that we can know we've got the right person. Then we're going to send you an invite to become part of the private group. So just to reiterate, you find me uh, um, by my email address, Smedley at gmail, on, on PayPal. You pay your $35, leave a description in the note, your name the way it appears on Facebook, and some kind of description to help us know we found the right person when we get on there. We'll send you an invite, you answer that invite and you're part of the group. Um, we're really excited to, to start shooting our actual videos with the puppies, um, introduce you to those puppies, and, and get started in making you and your dog's dreams come true. Thanks again for joining us. We really look forward to having you be a part of the group.